Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer and I just played Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. It's a third person action adventure RPG developed by Monolith Productions and published by Warner Brothers. Shadow of Mordor was released for Linux July 30th, 2015. In Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, you play as Talion, a human ranger who is murdered along with the rest of his family at the hands of Sauron's army. Talion is then possessed by an amnesiac wraith who resurrects him. This possession becomes a sort of symbiosis, affording each party special abilities. Talion becomes immortal and imbued with wraith magic, and his wraith companion is able to use Talion to remember his true identity. Shadow of Mordor has a realistic fantasy aesthetic, with most of the monsters, oryx, and creatures adhering to a familiar style laid out by the Lord of the Rings feature films. The game feels quite polished and the assets are beautifully rendered on screen. The game also has incredible weather effects, especially when it's raining. There's so much texture to the world, and when it's raining, everything looks wet. That might sound mundane, but it's quite impressive. The music fits the setting and subtly enhances gameplay, and I guess my only complaint from a presentation standpoint are some of the sound effects. I found a few of them to be unbearably grating on the ears after repeated playback. I believe that Shadow of Mordor elevates the entire medium of gaming. Hyperbole aside, while one could critique the controls as sluggish, and we'll get to that in a moment, everything in this title makes you feel like a true badass. Shadow of Mordor has this ineffable feeling to it, similar to the feeling you get while watching a heavily produced movie or visiting Disney World. There's some indefinable quality to these things that this game shares. It could be a level of polish, attention to detail, or something else, but whatever it is, this game has it. So what about the actual gameplay? The game is a third-person action-adventure. You traverse the land, completing various missions, and by doing so, you gain new abilities. And here's where the RPG elements come in. There are multiple skill trees, abilities, and more, all of which you can use to unlock power-ups for your character. As you progress, you become even more of a badass. The combat system feels very fluid, and you're often presented with battles, the scale of which can seem daunting. But if you take your time and be strategic, you'll be successful. This game also has a great stealth system, affording you the ability to get away from the hordes of enemies and quickly thin their numbers from the shadows. A very interesting mechanic of this game is Sauron's army. Enemies who kill you are able to advance in their ranks since killing you gives them credibility and allows them to challenge their superiors. After an enemy has been promoted, you can seek vengeance upon them and they'll even remember you. Scattered all over the map are missions to complete. There are a few different kinds of missions, story quests, revenge, and oryx slaying missions, and side quests. They all advance the narrative in different ways. If you save enough human slaves, for example, they'll actually rise up against their oryx captors and help you fight them. Shadow of Mordor handles okay. For every strength the game has, there's a weakness that undermines it. First and foremost, you feel like a badass in combat, in your stealth moments, and just about everywhere. Unless, that is, the game doesn't know what you're trying to do and instead just gets you killed. The controls feel loose and your character kind of feels sluggish. Walking, even running, feels slow. Combat is fast and fluid, and the slow motion really helps you kick ass. But then there are quick time events, and even regular attacks play out like an in-engine cutscene sometimes making me feel like my input is more suggestion rather than directly controlling the character. Shooting arrows is probably the most flawless control scheme in the game, but even that has its quirks. When having a conversation with an NPC you need to follow, the game will automatically follow the character for you. I appreciate this. I'm torn about this game's performance. While I had all the graphical settings on high as opposed to ultra, I was able to run this game at 1080p at a constant 50 to 60 frames per second. Performance is superb, not even slowing down during an intense battle with literally hundreds of AI controlled enemies on screen at once. This is a major feat and I find it quite impressive. However, I did experience some instability. The game would crash during pre-rendered cutscenes. 
I have yet to solve this problem, though the workaround has been to simply skip the cutscenes. Unfortunately, this has led to me not being able to enjoy the story. I am not quite broken up about this since I'm not really into Lord of the Rings or fantasy in general, but it would have been nice to have the option. I bought Shadow of Mordor on sale, and it came with loads of DLC. So much of the DLC is what Warner Brothers has become notorious for. Character skins, special rune upgrades, and small side quests. I got them for free, and they don't add a whole lot to the game, so I'm not going to complain about this. But just beware. Despite a few flaws, Middle-Earth Shadow of Mordor is one of the most fun action games I've played in a very long time. Whether you're a Lord of the Rings fan or not, Shadow of Mordor has that AAA polish, amazingly detailed world, and a fun factor that is hard to come by. In my opinion, this game is a must-buy. It's available for Linux through Feral's website and Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Shadow of Mordor? What do you think of it? How does the game perform on your rig? Let me know on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. I want to shout out to my Patreon subscribers who made this episode possible. I recently did a Shadow of Mordor livestream for my contributors, and there should be a highlight reel up here shortly. Make sure you watch that and check out the rest of my channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends, and make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.